President Biden meeting with Afghanistan's leaders at the White House last week as the countries prepare for the U.S. to pull the troops out, pull forces out of out of Afghanistan by September 11th. So we want to talk a little bit more about this and how to better support the veterans who will be coming home. And for that, we want to bring in actor and activist Gary Sinise, who has spent years raising money and awareness for veterans. You also have a partnership with Bob Evans Farms to support military heroes and their families. Gary, thanks so much for uh, joining us today. We know that this is an, uh, a cause that is near and dear to your heart, something that you have spent hours and hours, years working on, something you have devoted time and money to. I guess the big question is, as we prepare to welcome back so many of these troops who have been overseas now for so long, what does America need to do to better prepare them, to better incorporate them in society and prepare them for coming home? Well, thank you for having me. Uh, good, good to be with you. Um, our our <laughs> military has been coming and going from Afghanistan now for 20 years. Um, but now we're, we're, we're finishing that mission. We're bringing them home. Uh, some of them will continue to stay in the military, so it's a little bit different for them. They'll still have their bonding community, and they'll be uh, going on to the next mission, whatever that may be. But uh, for some of them, they'll be transitioning out of the military, and that's always a difficult uh, challenge, especially if you've been in the military for a long period of time. So uh, these are people from all over uh, the country, uh, various small towns, large cities uh, across the nation, and uh, they may be uh, seeking employment. They may be. They may have uh, um, mental wellness issues that they have to face, that they have to deal with. Uh, thankfully, uh, there are multiple nonprofits that are in this space that are supporting them, and multiple corporations that have veterans initiatives uh, within their uh, companies to provide services for our veterans, just like Bob Evan, Evans uh, Farms, uh, partnering with the nonprofit Gary Sinise Foundation to help us provide services and where we can help to promote the services that they are uh, initiating. One of those is called Our Farm Salutes. Um, you can learn more about Our Farm Salutes by uh, going to the grocery store and going to the refrigerator department there where, uh, where every, all the frozen products are. And you can see the Bob Evans uh, purple packaging there. And when you get that purple packaging, it, you can learn more about the initiatives uh, that they have at, at Bob Evans. Uh, they've been a good partner to us, uh, to the Gary Sinise Foundation, uh, on and off over the last five years. And we're proud to be uh, teaming up with them again to, to make sure that those coming home and those transitioning have uh, and nowhere to turn and know where the services are that are provided for them. Hey, Gary, Brian Chung here. I want to ask you about other initiatives that you're also working on. You mentioned the partnership with Bob Evans Farms, but there's also an, an initiative, I understand, to help entrepreneurial veterans, those hoping to start businesses, which right now might actually be a great time to start a new business, given just the disruption that we've seen with COVID and people wanting to go out and spend money. So uh, tell us a little bit more about what you're doing on that front. Yeah, that, that's a that. Well, you know, we're, we're trying to provide services to the Gary Sinise Foundation wherever we can and support Bob, Bob Evans uh, specifically has one called uh, Heroes to CEOs. And they are providing uh, support for young entrepreneurs that want to start their own businesses. Uh, and you can look, look, I was involved with an initiative way back when, when we were trying to retool uh, military skills skills learned within the military services toward the manufacturing sector. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of manufacturing jobs available. Uh, um, people can't, uh, not enough people to fill them, but military skills uh, retooled and retrained uh, into the civilian sector can be very, very beneficial to any company. And we're, we're trying to provide services at the Gary Sinise Foundation or at least point people in the right direction. Um, the Bob Evans uh, Heroes to CEOs, that, that's something that you can learn about at Our Farm Salutes. Just go to the Bob Evans website and you can learn more about their services for veterans. Uh, we have mental wellness services at the Gary Sinise Foundation. Uh, one is called the Avalon Network that we've uh, partnered up with, uh, with Bernie Marcus, uh, co-founder of, um, of Home Depot, and Arthur Blank is... Uh, the other co-founder at Home Depot. Um, they are 
providing support for the Gary Sinise Foundation Avalon Network in partnership with the Boulder Crest Foundation and the Marcus Institute for Brain Health. These are these are mental wellness uh, mental wellness organizations that are specifically focused on the challenges that military service members are facing after their service. Uh, and we're trying to expand the retreats through Boulder Crest. These are a series of retreats around the country and clinics through Marcus Institute for Brain Health. So we're teaming up with some very good uh, businesses and corporate leaders to try and do more for the men and women who serve our country. Gary, we only have about a minute here and it's a bit of a loaded question uh, to wrap it all into one minute, but just talk to us real quick, if you can, just how you got involved in this and how, why this issue and why this cause is so important to you. Veterans in my own family, that's where it starts. Uh, I got uh, involved with supporting Vietnam veterans back in the 80s, uh, prior to playing a Vietnam veteran in Forrest Gump when I got involved with supporting our wounded. And then September 11th came along and I write about this in my book. It's called Grateful America and a Journey from Self to Service. And there's a chapter called Turning Point. And it's the September 11th chapter talking about the 80s and 90s and all that in preparation for this call to action after September 11th and the deployment to Afghanistan and Iraq of our troops and wanting to do as much as I can to, to help them and their families. Gary Sinise, award-winning actor. You might know him as Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump. Gary, great to speak with you. Thanks for taking the time.